This is Newswatch 16 at 11. Folks from out of state say they want to help some families who claim their water was tainted by natural gas drilling. But will officials stay instead? We don't want your water. It's our top story on Newswatch 16 at 11. Good evening, everyone. I'm Trish Hartman. Scott Schaefer has the evening off. We begin tonight in Susquehanna County, where residents in one township faced off over water deliveries. It all started with contamination blamed on Cabot Oil and Gas. Newswatch 16's Sarah Binovsky was at tonight's Dimmick Township meeting and joins us now with the story. Sarah. Well, Trish, this is a very complicated issue, one that started years ago and continued tonight with an angry debate in a Dimmick Township meeting and a decision about water delivery. It was anything but a typical Dimmick Township meeting. Residents packed inside the municipal building for a meeting that sometimes turned nasty. The debate? Whether township supervisors should ask for mutual aid for water deliveries. Cabot Oil and Gas recently stopped delivering water to 11 families in the township after the State Department of Environmental Protection said it was no longer necessary. Cabot is blamed for contaminating the family's well water, which some say is still polluted. We're all running out of water. Yeah, we haven't had, yeah, they stopped the water on the 30th. Uh, I had maybe about 50 gallons left in my buffalo. And, you know, at that point there, I had taken a shower in four days. So today's the first shower I've had in four days. Binghamton and other municipalities have offered to deliver water to the families once a legal request for aid is made. But many here say the affected families should take care of themselves and the township shouldn't be involved. It has nothing to do with us. We all have private wells in Dimmick Township and we have nothing to do with where they get their water delivered. We all pay our taxes. I made an offer because people needed water and I think uh, just because there's a state line in between us, I, I think mutual aid, so I was just trying to come to the aid of some people who need water. I just feel that if there's a need, uh, they should be able to just come in. We have several cities that are interested in bringing water to the affected families, so they should just be able to come in and not make a fuss about it. After much debate, township leaders voted unanimously to not request mutual aid. Now after the meeting, one man affected by the water delivery said the mayor of Binghamton has promised to keep trying to help. Today, the Sierra Club paid to have the city of Binghamton deliver water to those families affected, and it is possible that an agreement like that could be reached in the future. Trish?